Hey, so what's up, Rex? So I checked out the response you left on my wall, and um, I don't know how else to put it other like, other than you're just completely wrong. <laughs> um, first of all, going back to the the, uh, the game the other day, um, number one, the goal was not Reyna's fault. There's no way the free kick taker was ending um, was even aiming for the goal in the first place. Reyna was in perfect position to deal with um, a, pot a potential header, um, but it's actually just the defense's fault for not handling it. Brain has gotten killed on set pieces all year, and um, once again, set piece, goals, big problem for Liverpool, they just can't seem to deal with it. Um, what else? I made a list of points as uh, you went on with your video. Um, okay. And I, I don't get why you're calling us um, other Liverpool fans whiny bitches, I, what's with the harsh language? Um, we're not whining, we're not bitching, we expect, we... Liverpool fans take great pride in their club and expect a certain level of success, especially off of coming out especially coming off of a great 2008-2009 campaign in which we made a good run in the Champions League and came just a little bit short in winning the Premier League. When you support and play for Liverpool, you expect a certain level of success. And that's just not happening this year. So we expect success. It's not matching this year. We have a right to complain, especially when the owners, the owners are the main problem. Now, the owners have repeatedly lied to the fans and made false promises. Last year when they signed Benitez, they promised him, promised him a 20 million pound transfer kitty to work on. Now, that's not 20 million that, oh, you sell a guy for 20 million, so you're going to buy another player for 20 million. No, that's 20 million that you can go out and buy players with beyond the money that you already make off of selling players. It obviously has not happened. Um, they've taken money from the club to deal with their own personal investments and um, own personal debt, which I have a huge problem with. That's just unethical. Um, what else? Oh, and they've interfered with transfers and complete, completely undermine Rafa. You remember a couple seasons ago when... Rafa really, really wanted Gareth Barry, like, really, really wanted Gareth Barry, but um, the owners directly undermined him, and out of it, we got Robbie Keane, who, yeah, that was a great investment, right? Mm, no. <laughs> um, also, I think George Gillette Jr., I believe, or was it Tom? I think it was George Gillette Jr., his emails, tirades to fans, just completely abusing fans for no reason. That's just completely unacceptable. Unacceptable behavior from the vice president of Liverpool and one of the sons of the owners. Can't have that in the club. And honestly, about the old selling the club, they're being stubborn. They're looking for a hundred million pound direct minority investment into the club. They're not looking to sell the club outright. They want to maintain controlling interest in the club. They want to keep the club. But they're just looking for somebody to inject $100 million into the club. And honestly, number one, if you've ever read Soccernomics, you know that s soccer teams are not profitable in any way possible. So I don't know why anybody in their right mind would, in th especially in this global economy, would inject $100 million pounds of their own money just for a minority stake in a football club. No, if you want to if you want to clear all your debt, Sell the club. Do the right thing for the club. Holding on for the club and waiting out on this investment that's never going to come is not helping you, and it's not helping the club. And the owners need to get that through their fat, thick American heads. I'm American too, but they're obviously clearly more stubborn. Um, shh. So yeah, they won't. They don't. They don't want to sell outright, which is hurting the club. And honestly, how is it Rafa's fault? He's been undermined throughout. Almost for way too long now. Um, he's been giving no money to compete with. Absolutely no money. How do you expect Rafa to go out and put together a, a squad with the depth of the Chelsea's and the Manchester United and United's and the Manchester City's of the world when he has, doesn't have a single, single Euro to work with? He can't build the necessary squad depth to produce a championship winning side. And again, that falls on the owners for being stubborn, not selling the club, mismanaging their investments, mismanaging their debt, and putting Liverpool in a terrible financial position. And I agree I agree that he's mishandled some players, um, particularly Ryan Babel. Just completely mishandled Ryan Babel. 
and his tactics can sometimes be questionable, but he's a damned good manager. Now, I, don't, I can't think of any other manager, Liverpool manager, for that means, that has won a European Cup, um, just consistent in and out year to year play. They're consistently in the top four, consistently in contention, in contention to win a Champions League title, consistently in it to win a Premier League title. Just he's brought a level to consistent consistency to Liverpool that they didn't have before him. Um, and what do you mean he? What do you mean that he had a budget last summer to work with? He didn't get. He wasn't given a single penny to work with. The only money that he used was money that. He gained from selling players. So when you sell players, you get back players, but you're not increasing your squad strength. You're just selling one player to get another player. The way that you increase your squad strength is that when the owners give you money, give you profit to work with, so you can build squad depth and strength from that. He sold to buy. And in fact, he even made a 10 million pound profit last summer, which he wanted to use to invest in another center back or a striker, but the owners didn't allow him to do that. Also, think about this. Now think about this. In Rafa's contract, there's a 15 million pound buyout clause. Would you rather have the owner sack him and have to add pay him 15 million pounds? Would you rather have them do that or would you rather have them take that 15 million pounds that they would use but from to sack Rafa to sign a player with? So really if you want to sack Rafa, you're costing the club 15 million pounds, which theoretically could go to signing players. So it's not happening. Rafa is staying. Signed players. The only way that Torres and Gerard and Mascherano and just all the stars are ever going to want to stay with this club is if you sign players. And that falls on the owners. To sell the club, get us some money, and give Rafa something to work with. So um, you're just completely 100 10% wrong. I cannot disagree with you more. So... You really, really have no right to be saying the Yankee, that the American owners should be staying and Rafa should be out. You're misinformed. You don't know what you're talking about. And um, <laughs> that's all I can say. I hate to be so blunt and harsh with you, but uh, you, you need a reality check. Um, so that's all for today. GLB Sports TV. I love Liverpool, YNWA. Um, my heart goes out to a misinformed fan such as you but at least we have Liverpool Football Club in common.